Art is too important not to share. Welcome to the Allie and Callie Artcast. Hi, I'm Allie. And I'm Callie. Hello. Hello, Callie. Welcome back to the Artcast. I know. We're starting season number four. 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 And March <laughs> is Women's History Month. I know so it we is. we are featuring... All women. All women. All day, all night, all... <laughs> Women are the best. Women are the best. Well, we know what we're doing most I know, of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> and we're at this lovely location. Yes, we're sitting here in the Coeur d'Alene Resort looking out on this rainy, wet, beautiful day in yep. Coeur d'Alene. Yes. Beautiful day. But you know what? It's still it's a great place to live. So Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what's going on? Oh, let's see. Well, I guess, let's see. What day is today? Today is March 1st. March 1st. Well, I've started rehearsals for Gypsy and i am uh, got a lot of lines, a lot of songs. Uh, it's going to be really fun. I'm excited and scared and uh, it's a big role. Big it's shoes a big role. Yeah. yeah. Big shoes to fill. In fact, our guest today has played this part before so we might have to ask her like some might, advice some advice definitely, <laughs> definitely. but um, yeah so I'm totally uh, waking up in the middle of the night singing songs from the show so that's where I am already wow and well, it doesn't open until April 26 all right well I'm gonna go learn the songs so I can help you yeah I need the yeah, help I'll need be, all the help it'll be get. fun anyway it'll be great it'll yeah. be great and, and I can quote something else besides my stupid besides line. your your line from what show from my Fair lady, <laughs> how would you like that? <laughs> Not before Ralph pins it did. We have to have it on every season. I, I know. Just, sorry, I, that's I okay. Can't help I myself. love it. I just we're, it was the only line I had. I know. But at least we're consistent. <laughs> right? you know, we say it every year. We got to keep it going. Yep. And how's everything with you? Good. Enjoying that retirement. You're I very am. Busy. I am. You're busy on the I'm TikTok. I'm staying busy, also. but. I know, right? <laughs> there are some fun ones on there, like the little, the little, the chickens, the chickens. The oh chickens my God, that, that are singing. I know that makes and you dancing. Happy. You send them yeah. very early in the morning, and I know. I'm always like that in Snapchat. I know because I funny. get on there, I have to send Callie these weird they're videos. They make me laugh. Yep, so well, that's important. That's I'm not what always for. as good at getting back to you, but they're very funny. <laughs> well, at least you respond with a ha ha <laughs> <laughs> I'm very very one word ha right <laughs> smiley face emoji thumbs up uh, yeah I know well it's very funny anyway we're starting off the women's history month with um our own favorite Ellen Travolta yes Thank Welcome. you for being here, Ellen. Hello, 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 Allie. Hello, Callie. Hello. She's so nice to be here with you. Yes. And I just want to say this about Gypsy. Yes. You you, you are right to be doing it now. Yes. Uh, uh, it, it's a huge role and it, vocally probably the most difficult role of any of the big roles. I agree. It really is. And just all of it and all the components. So yeah, and you're going to be, you'll be swell. I'll be great. You'll be great. <laughs> have I the can whole tell. world on a plate. <laughs> That's right. I know. I'm, I'm, it's funny because it's been a long time since I've done a, well, a lead lead. And then, um, I love the role because there's acting, a lot of acting. It's very dramatic and it's very, um, well, it's, there's a lot of depth to it. So it's not mm-hmm. just fluff. It's not yeah. fluff musical theater. It's, it's intense. And, whew. Well, historically, Gypsy was the beginning of the book musicals mm-hmm. at that time. Before, there'd been musicals with mostly singing a line here to get you into the song. But mm-hmm. Gypsy was the beginning of that turn. Mm-hmm. I remember that year, West Side Story, which was a lot of dance and so on, but still had much merit yeah. you know, mm-hmm. to the script. So it's, I think it's probably one of the greatest musicals ever. It's, and wow. the score is, it's, without a doubt, Perfect. Yeah, it's brilliant. And and I weren't you in the uh, touring production? Yes, with Merman. With Merman. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you did a, it with Ethel Merman. I know, wasn't yeah, it? I did the end of Broadway and the tour. And she was I hadn't been on tour since uh, I think it was uh, with Jimmy Durante. I mean, we're going way. Wow. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't there when they did that. Not quite. <laughs> um, but they went and did the. Uh, we're on the road and. Uh, 
she hadn't been on the road since Red Hot and Blue, mm-hmm. which had been back in the 40s. I guess. And oh, this wow. was in the late 50s. Mm-hmm. No, no, late late 50s, early 60s. Yeah. Was on. But yes, I was. Yeah, I remember that. I know cool. it by heart. Yes. I, and when, you, when it starts, I know every, I mean, we were out for a year, eight shows a week. Wow. And I can't even imagine singing at eight shows a week. I know. And she never, it. ever missed a missed show. Missed a show. I, Really? Ever. She's a machine. My favorite story is the night Judy Garland came backstage. We were in San Francisco, and everybody was just, oh, my God, Garland is here, Garland is here. And she came back, and we were all you know, kind of standing around, and she said, come on, Ethel, you know, we're going to go out. It was a Tuesday night. She said, let's go out and have some drinks, and Merman said, I can't. Should I have a matinee? Yeah. The next day, Judy Garland's show was canceled. She went out. She partied and didn't do a show. Oh, wow. And Merman never missed. Oh, wow. yeah. Ever. She had the steel throat. Yeah. Iron throat. Really did. Yeah. Just Amazing. strong. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And of course, they had no mics in those days. I know. So you had to be articulate and project. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. And those wow. lyricists, they wanted to hear their words yeah everything yeah and you'll be terrific oh thanks oh yeah well i'm i'm excited how long are you gonna run it for it's only two weekends so it's a you know it's a lot of work for two weekends that's the way it goes here and that's okay (laughs) yeah i'll probably so it's seven shows you'll do i think it's four uh it's like friday saturday two shows on saturday and sunday and then same again friday two shows on Saturday and a Sunday. So eight shows. Eight, 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 eight shows. shows, yeah. And where will you do it? At the Croc. At the Croc. At the Croc, yeah. For so. Aspire Theater. For Aspire Community Theater, yep. yeah. So Okay, and when you do it, April? Can April 26th through May 4th. Yeah, okay. so it should be fun. Yeah, it will be fun. It will be and fun. And we'll be there. Yay, yeah. Yep. So Cheer and yawn. Yeah. It's, quietly. I keep calling it my <laughs> swan song. No, it's just oh. the beginning. <laughs> you said that about the last show, though. <laughs> well, as we get older, we, I, it's harder to memorize. It's harder to sing. It's harder. To, it's just hard. It's ah. hard. Yeah, big baby. I am a baby. I wouldn't know anything about I that. I know. Ellen's <laughs> still doing everything. <laughs> right. Know, She's oh, amazing. It is, but it is, I mean, yeah. it, it takes, it takes each a decade. Lot. Each decade changes things yeah. a right. little bit. Yeah. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah. In um, my 20s, I could memorize in a day. But 60 is very young. Okay. I'll, I'll, very I'll, young. I'll take your word very for young. it. <laughs> I agree. 60 is very young. Yes. Oh, so we're here to talk about, you have a lovely fund that you've started for the Arts and Culture Alliance in Jack Bannon's name. Yes. Mm-hmm. And tell us a little bit about that. Well, I'll tell you, the, uh, the, uh, the flowers were coming to the house mm-hmm. when he passed away. Mm-hmm. And you know, they're so beautiful. But they last, and then they're so expensive. Right. Pardon me, flower shops. Yeah. (laughs) However, after a while, I I called uh, Arts and Co. I said, please, let's let's make the the contributions. Do something for someone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so there was a blurb, I guess, in the paper. Mm -hmm. And the Jack Bannon scholarship fund began mm-hmm. correct yes i know at that time i was sort of out of my body i don't i didn't even know i, I don't even know if i remembered mm-hmm. for another year or so right you know that that had been done but you guys have done such a wonderful job of of uh, taking the money and holding it mm-hmm. and uh and I, uh, I like to think, well, it is, it's a gift from Jack. And he yes. was mm-hmm. such a supporter of the arts. Mm-hmm. He didn't care, you know, whether you were a, a juggler or a ballet dancer or a fine artist or a singer, mm-hmm. actor, opera singer, mm-hmm. whatever. And people need a help. So yeah. mm-hmm. it, it, it's there. And it is available to anyone, and we're going to start. Well, you have to be old enough. Yeah, we Six, just. I think sixteen, 16, 16 is the sixteen, start. and then and then onward as long as you have dreams. Yes, I love that. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. You know, if you let's say you have little kids and you you want to want to go to a class or you want to go back to school, mm-hmm. it's available to you. Uh, Male, female, mm-hmm. anybody, trans, mm-hmm. anyone, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's available. Yeah. 
and it covers a myriad of roads yeah that right you might want might want to take uh, should we talk about Josie for a second, the young girl? Yes. Yeah, so that was one of our award, our latest award was mm-hmm. uh, Jocelyn Banak, who goes by Joss. Yeah. Joss. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I call her jo- Joss. Or Josie. Josie. I call her Josie. Yeah. Okay. Great artist. And we gave her $500. And her project was, she her vision was doing a student art show, not just a show for herself, but Mm -hmm. to showcase other students in her, pretty much in her age group, I think. Um, But even including, she really wanted to include members of the tribe. Yes. Um, She's an indigenous artist herself. And... um, Put, she ended up putting together a fabulous she, she show. She took the role of a producer mm-hmm. on, um, and I thought she did a fine job. And maybe that's where her ta- talent will lie a- a- eventually, but mm-hmm. she did a great job of picking the right pieces and mm-hmm. how she displayed them. It was very, very successful. And uh, I don't know what we're, we're, we're not quite sure where where she is right now, but we're certainly interested in, and would like to continue helping yeah. her if there mm-hmm. was something that that she um, that she needed. Yeah. So right. I think it's very exciting. And the thing that that I that I don't know about is who knows about this. Are there things put up in the high schools about this? Yes. Are there, yes. There mm-hmm. are. The high schools know. Yeah. The high schools know. They sent out uh, letters to the administration and the art teachers, I believe. And so originally the applications, they had to be submitted in by March 14th, but we've extended the date till what date? Early in April. We yeah. haven't decided on the date. What about early your April. groups? What about Inspire? Uh, Aspire? What about theater oh, groups? Yeah. All of them. All they of all them need know. to know. All Everybody of them. knows I think about it's that. been mentioned at Art Buzz on, uh, the first Friday of a month, but it'll be in the um, in the weekly newsletter with the arts and cult. Is it weekly arts and culture monthly? Monthly, monthly. but um, yeah, we need to reach out to the paper Ye- and let people know that this is out there. And what about teachers? Right. You know, and people, teachers, like teachers like say uh, Jen Shotwell or mm-hmm. um, yeah. the people at the academy. Mm-hmm. This is dance. Yeah, I mean all. That's expensive. All yeah. of it. All of oh, it. And yeah. kids might there might be a wonderfully talented kid that parent can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah, you needs know? help. Right. And mm-hmm. I think that's a uh, important, um, you know, to cultivate right. the yeah. young people uh, to have music right. lessons or dance lessons. And mm-hmm. there's a I don't is there a dance studio? I'm sort of out of the. There's um, there's a couple dance studios. There's one in. Post Falls Expression Dance Studios. Mm-hmm. There's Northwest Dance Academy. That's up in Hayden. And then, um, as f- I don't know if there's one in Coeur d'Alene. There is one. I saw it. I passed it. In the little... I, it's up on um, Sherman. Oh. Up above. Oh, huh. really? Yeah. On the other side of the street. Huh. On the other side over across from the resort. But it's up further. And there's a dance studio there. Oh. Okay. I've never seen that. I don't know where that is. Huh. Well, we'll, we'll, look we'll, it up. we'll certainly be yeah, we'll, um, we'll spread pursuing the word. as many of these places as possible. Yeah. Plus getting it out in the in the paper and out to the general pop- public. Yes. Because as we were talking earlier, we don't want to limit it to just kids. There may be adults who mm-hmm. have a dream and a project or or an opportunity yeah. and they and they need a little help and mm-hmm. and that's what this is for you know and it's interesting because sometimes people need transportation mm-hmm. they need a bus pass they need a, i don't know about right. as mm-hmm. much here but all those things can get in the way of your being able to yeah. get some, do right. something and achieve what you want so mm-hmm. some examples of what this fund has done before we've only I think we've only done four awards at this point. The first one was um, we helped fund a young artist who wanted to do the entrepreneur program. And it was a program mm-hmm. through the Idaho Commission on the Arts. And and we helped her do that. And mm-hmm. that was really, that was a great program for her. It got her through the process of understanding that just being an artist doesn't mean you're going to sell your work. You have to learn how to 
promote your work. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to be a business person. So it it was a really valuable program for her. Um, Then we gave $500 to the The Blues, blues, the Navy Blues from Lake City 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 High. High And they were looking for funding to go do, uh, I think... um, a competition? Like a competition mm-hmm. somewhere. It's been a few years. Yeah, so that was a couple that years was ago. That was pre-COVID. And then we, Ellen and I went and presented a check to the North Idaho Symphony? Youth Symphony. Youth Symphony. And then the, also the students that had, they were students. They were meeting at the high school. Uh, right. yeah. One was a, a high school group and the other was a group from the county. They right. came together and yeah. met there. And then we also gave a thousand dollars to do um the Christmas um Messiah. Messiah. Oh right. Through the Coeur d'Alene yeah. Conservatory. I forgot about last. that one. That's yeah. right. That's right. Mm-hmm. So you know, the it's, it's all really over. It, it's your imagination. What is it that you that meet? you want to create or learn to create or it it it's arts related, but it can be, it's, I mean, use your imagination when yeah. you're thinking about a project or you have a project and you're, and you're, you're running a little short on money. Yeah. Yeah. We might be able to help. Yes. Right. Through the Jack Bannon Fund. That's yes. right. Hey y'all, it's Jason from Tubbs Coffee Roasters. We are North Idaho's specialty coffee roaster. We are homegrown and we are local. We love coffee and we love our community, especially Allie and Callie in ArtCast. We have a retail space in our roastery in Hayden, and we can also be found on the shelves at Super One and Yolks. And if you like to buy coffee online, we do offer subscriptions. You can find us at TubbsCoffeeRoasters.com. Support arts and culture and your local roaster. That's all. Oh, I would love to hear more about Jack. I met Jack um, when I w- ran the program Art on the Edge. He and Roger came and did um, acting classes with uh, the juvenile diversion group. And <laughs> it was so much fun. It was, so fun. we did it at the, what is now the Human Rights Education Institute, but back then it was the cultural, the Coeur d'Alene Cultural Center. Mm. And, um, he came down with Roger and I just remember the kids had no idea who he was so that, you know, the classes ran really smoothly, but the moms were out in the lobby going, is that, is that who I think it is? It was really funny. <laughs> He's on Lou Grant. He's on Lou Grant. He's this. Oh, uh, yeah. So tell yeah. us a little bit about Jack. Jack Bannon was an interesting soul. <laughs> he was quite, he was a, 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 a creature of habit. Um, and... I, the one thing I think about Jack, and I've thought about it more since his passing, that he never knew his worth. Mm-hmm. He was a very humble man. Yeah. And he was a very non judgmental man. He was kind. But if he had an odd line of what he felt was appropriate or inappropriate or correct, and if that crossed it, he backed away. He was n- not able to get past that, mm-hmm. um, and it would be an odd thing. You, you, it would be something that maybe you wouldn't expect. But the most generous, anyone that asked us, but he always asked me if we had it, though. It was very funny. <laughs> yeah. I said, I'd like to have a boat. Can do we have it? <laughs> and I said, yeah. yeah. I said, okay. The person would be in need and they would call and I'd say, so-and-so is, he said, well, do we have it? I said, yes. I said then, <laughs> but he was very, very generous mm-hmm. and generous with people. He should have, he would have been a great uh, counselor. Yes. He would mm. listen and would, you know, he was just, but he really... I mean, one of the things that tortured him was, I, I don't know why I've been so lucky. I don't know why I have all yeah. of this. I don't know. And I think that comes from growing up. And I always am, and this is an odd thing, but when you call your mother mother, 
like mother can I and mother I always think there's something not quite they're not it was not, not There's close. a little disconnect, and, yeah. and she was, you know, her, his mother was B. Benaderet, who was. Oh, I I'll, didn't know. I'll that. give you. I'll, and both his mother and father were famous. His father oh. was the Red Rider back in the day, all of those movies, and his mother was Petticoat Junction, Burns and Allen, the uh, Betty Rubble and the Flintstone, oh, all wow. that cartoon stuff. She was a very, very successful um, actress. Mm-hmm. And I always got the impression that were in lot they were nannies, and there was a disconnect and the, and his sister the same way mother they mm-hmm. talk about mother. My mother would think something was wrong with you. <laughs> what have you done? Why are you right. calling Why me? Why are that? you saying mother? <laughs> that sounds very Joan Crawford. Very, very. Well, a lot of times the people at that time, you know, and I remember lines in books like, oh, I cried. I was leaving him for six months, but I knew he'd be fine and I'd miss him. So an infant, you know, oh. a baby. <laughs> and they were leaving and going on locations and... And that's not the, I mean, I'm not condemning actors or any, but no, I'm just saying, right. but when you are, when you don't take care of your child and somebody else does, they get that closeness. They get that connection mm-hmm. and you miss out. And I miss think in, in that case, Jack never felt like, and I know with my kids, there is nothing they will do that will ever make me not love them. Unconditional love is not anything he ever felt mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. his parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it gave you a feeling of an, and but he was all and he was such a good friend and loyal and he, yeah I uh, and funny. Yeah. One of the funniest people <laughs> I've ever met. And just uh, and and the thing for me that was lovely is he just let me be who I was, never tried to change me. And I'd mm-hmm. come home and he'd say, "What happened today?" And I'd tell him, and I and then I said, and then and then I said, <laughs> and he said, "I said, what do you what do you think?" He said, "Well, I I think it's fine. Okay. I probably would have handled it a little differently, <laughs> but I I think you were right." And he was so adoring to me mm. and to my children, and yeah, so he is gravely missed. It's such yeah. a talent. He's yeah, a wonderful actor. Yeah, he was a great Herbie. He was. Oh, he was. Yeah. Just, just wonderful. So he and he would be so thrilled that some good was being done yeah. in his name. Absolutely. You know, he would really quell. Yeah. Over that, he. Would oh, cool. Love that. Good. I know. I love. I love that we're doing this. It just. It. Yes. It makes me happy. He used to come and bring. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he'd bring. Come knock on the door, because Stu's on the road a lot, and he'd go. You know, I'm always there for you, and and he. Oh, it makes me sad. Uh, he'd come with mason jars of vodka, and we'd have vodka martinis. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the middle of the day, I'd be like, "Oh, Jack, wasn't perfect. it you that was vodka? I was vodka. vodka. Yeah, because the kids would come over, and this is when they were little, and uh, I always had a little vodka with something, and the kids would go, they'd lift my drink, and I go, no, no, and then they go, I go, uh, can I drink? And I go, no, it has vodka, and they go, baka? I go, yeah, baka, baka, <laughs> no baka yeah. for you. I remember you know? that. Yeah, so they, and you gave me baka from Russia. From Russia, I brought it back, <laughs> that's right, vodka. Yeah. And wasn't it B-O-D? It was B-O-D-K-A, I think. Vodka. 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 Yeah, vodka. Yeah, I, I love you, that. I found, you found vodka, vodka for you. For me. <laughs> I was like, vodka? Yeah. Vodka, vodka, from oh, Russia. Yeah, he'd let, yeah, and he'd pour, and he'd pour a drink, and I'd say, B, you know, People have to go home. Yeah. <laughs> he said, what's the point of I making know. a drink oh my God. if it's not right? He, yeah. He liked drinks you could swim across. Oh, my God. <laughs> the last time I had a Manhattan was on your boat. <laughs> and we had, well, and I was like, I'm not that hungry. And it was before we moved back here. And we were up for the summer. I don't know what show we were doing. I don't know what it was. But we were on your boat. And... <laughs> And I had one Manhattan. I think it was the first Manhattan I'd ever had. Probably. And I, like, and I was like, oh, well, I'll just sip it. And then I sipped the whole thing and had a couple slices of cheese and a cracker. And then he goes, well, I think you need another one. You know, and I was like, <laughs> okay. And then, and the kids were with us on the boat. And so by the time 
I don't remember getting in the car, but we were driving and my head was out the window. It was the first time the kids saw me drunk. And I, my head was out the window and I was like, oh, I love Coeur d'Alene. <laughs> Why don't we live here? <gasps> I'm fine. I am just tipsy. I am fine. I am. Why is mommy crying? I am not crying. I love Coeur d'Alene. Look at the lake. It's so pretty. You know, and, and yeah, I uh, you had your la- your boat, and you picked you kind yeah. of hooked up with that. Yeah, I with- hooked up. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, those uh, that was the last time I had Manhattan's too. <laughs> and they are powerful. They're, I mean, they they'll are sneak up on you. They for sure. they're just uh, there. <laughs> well, you know, they're they're. Uh, I looked up this. I'm, I'm doing research in other areas, <laughs> and happened to have found the original Manhattan oh, recipe. Yes. Really, it's made with rye whiskey. Right. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And vermouth and bitters, but the rye whiskey is very important. You yeah. you can do a high end whiskey, mm-hmm. and ain't the same. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I yeah I oh I, my mom and dad New York because I'm from East, and a big night. And I remember they take me with them to New York, and we go in. It, it was a big deal to go out to dinner. You did dinner one night and theater the other night. You didn't do it both because you would you took your hours and a yeah. lot of courses, mm-hmm. and you would dance because at that time the Dorsey. And um, I can't think of any other, but those big bands Mm -hmm. would be playing at a hotel and you'd have dinner and they would have their Manhattans. Of course, we took the bus across. Mm -hmm. My my father never drove till way later in his life. But I remember him having a Manhattan and he would, I was on two telephone books. Mm -hmm. So I could sit up to the table and he'd dance with my mother and then he'd dance with me. Oh. And they take breaks, <laughs> and I remember that was the only time at that in my life at that that I and they I ever saw them drink. Mm. Oh, um, really? My grandmother lived with us, and 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 I don't remember them having alcohol when I was little. Later on, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but not when that was so. It was a Manhattan, so that always. And my my little brother, um, John, has a a a, a whole thing in his mind it, and it's a Manhattan mm-hmm. or a glass of white wine and a cigarette oh you, it goes together oh oh funny <laughs> that's funny yeah but I, I get that add a little flair to your special events with scraps barbecue a great catering choice for your next gathering specializing in golf tournaments sporting events weddings and other family friend gatherings their commercial kitchen can be on site or or you can choose to have a fully catered meal delivered right to you. Known for their authentic Santa Maria style tri-tip and tequila lime fish tacos, they can customize the menu to meet your needs for groups of 20 to 2,500. Contact Kevin at kevin at scrapsbarbecue.com or check them out on Facebook. If you want to apply, somebody pursuing visual art in any medium like dance, music, creative writing, photography, design, film, audio production, or any other art form. Like fiber art. Like fiber art. Right. Yeah. Maybe like felting. Yeah. Oh, that's a big thing now. Felting's cool. Felting, Mm -hmm. right? Yes. Felting. Abby Abby Crawford. Big felting. Yeah. She does those little mushrooms. She does a lot. Yes. I mean... (laughs) Felts. Felted <laughs> mushrooms. Pardon me. She, oh does, boy. A lot of, she does a lot Mushroom of mushrooms. felting. Felting. I'm sorry. That pause was <laughs> unintentional. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to be in college to uh, be eligible either. You, can, you don't have to have any education. We just want you to be 16 and above. And above. So, you know, if you're you're just looking for an outlet and you you're ready to to try something new, this is your chance. Right. Like right? maybe you have a dream to learn how to blow glass. Oh, yes. And make beautiful glass pieces. Yes. Mm-hmm. Maybe you had a child when you were in high school. Yes. And now you, the child is three years old, ready to go to preschool. You have those hours. Mm-hmm. And you want to do something, but you don't have the money to do. It's really extra. Yes. Because everything you and your partner it's have needs to go to over your head and mm-hmm. in your mouth right. so th- there an opportunity to do something a class yeah. mm-hmm. it can be a class it could class, be a class uh, workshops it, it, wor- yeah, yeah anything like oh you know what uh, over here at the college um, oh yeah gizmo gizmo okay. is back up 
and Gizmo, it would be they a have good great classes. Enough. Oh, they yeah. do have great classes, but everything today has a hefty price tag. Yeah, there's right. Money. And and also, let's say you're one of, I know a, a family where there's nine children. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry. Back to the mushrooms. Is that out loud? <laughs> I said that out loud. Or the Ooh. alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got the nine kids, the alcohol, yeah. and the mushrooms. Oh, wow. And <laughs> woo. I, I no. applaud them. <clears throat> That's but a lot. You have nine, wow. nine children, mm. and how to be able to have the extras have them have any extra yeah Mm -hmm. um that's a lot is a big is a big deal yeah right so that could certainly and there are a lot of large families here right Mm -hmm. and i you know maybe one or two or three of those kids want to go learn how to play the violin right piano or because we have that conservatory Mm -hmm. which is a great place to learn yes it is instruments and Music. I believe she has nine children. This is Dance. In oh. fact, her oh. son, Dr. Dance, Dr. Dance, was my eye surgeon. Oh. oh, and her children are her children are phenomenal. They're oh. they're all now have children because mm-hmm. I think he has seven. My eye doctor. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I just I'm so impressed with they what they worked out so their kids could have privy. Yeah, they all play an instrument. That's great. No, they, and they've all, most of them are professionals. That's mm-hmm. great. So that's uh, amazing. That but is there amazing. There are ways that you can get, and, and for mothers that have a child, mm-hmm. that you can't, it's too much. Mm-hmm. You know, I remember when, it, uh, you know, Dan says, well, it was a dollar, but houses were 4000 you know, I mean, it's everything is right. comparable. But this is an especially high time, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then do. grandmas, you could encourage your grandchild. A lot of times kids will open up to their grandparents about stuff they want, and mm-hmm. they will have not have to their parents. Mm-hmm. Right. You know? So I think everybody's got to keep their ears open right. and guide someone to this fund mm-hmm. because it's there. Yeah. And how about a woman whose husband just retired and he's around underfoot in yeah. the house yeah. and she'd like to get him out doing well, a really think, cool yeah. project? I think you have to sit down and find out what the person is interested in <laughs> and have a lot of a lot of Give choices. Give them options. Then a lot of choices. Right. Uh, and then encourage the pursuit. Right. To do it. I think the point is that we want people to, <laughs> to apply. get out and we be want creative. Pe- we want to see some really cool ideas mm-hmm. of ways to use some of this money. We have it. We'd like to share it. And, and if you and have more questions, you can go to info at artsandculturecda.org. Or you can go to arts and, uh, artsandculturecda.org. And go to the Jack Bannon Memorial Fund right there and mm-hmm. find out the information as well as filling out the, the, application. the application right there online. Is it called the Jack Bannon Memorial Fund? It's uh, called or is it ja- the scholarship. No, I'm sorry. It's the Jack, Jack Bannon Bannon's Fund for the Arts. Oh, is that what it is? That's Jack what it Bannon is. Fund for the Arts. Fund yes. for the Arts. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because, you know, everything else is so readily, I mean, any of the sports, although I remember when my daughter's, my grandson was playing and uh, his best friend, they couldn't afford to play. Right. Yeah. Little League, oh. all those, they all cost. Yeah. They, a uh, every money. single thing. But there seems to be much more uh, cash available or people more readily to, uh, there to support the sports than they yeah. are the than arts. Than the arts. Yeah, right. I can sell some lacrosse equipment if anybody needs any oh. BTW. <laughs> <laughs> That stuff's expensive. It is expensive. I'm like, oh, yeah. it's crazy. <clears throat> it's just in the garage. <laughs> so are instruments. And sometimes somebody yes. needs, wants to play or is learning to play but can't afford to buy no. an instrument. Uh, yeah, I um, donated Jack's flute mm-hmm. to the music conservatory. The, the conservatory. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's and, awesome. Uh, I mean, Molly played the flute. And I remember Jack buying her the flute. Uh, for, really? for, for Christmas. Oh, she, cool. you, you rent it at school. Yeah. Right. You rent them in a lot of the music stores, rent everything to, mm-hmm. you know, to the schools yeah. every year, but to have your own. And when you have your own, it's like anything, you get used to your own and mm-hmm. how you play it. And right. How, but all of it. You should put on your thinking caps. People. Yes. Just put do it. Put on your thinking caps. <clears throat> Just do it. Right. Apply. Apply today. Yeah, apply right now. (laughs) 
arts and culture cda.org mm-hmm. find it right on the home page so. yes mm-hmm. and i think it's a yeah it's a very worthwhile wonderful thing and there's money there yeah oh yeah use it yeah, yeah exactly we want it to go to to help you out and at some point this spring, we're talking about doing a little fundraiser to raise yes. more money this for it. So late we can spring, continue. early summer. So what's yeah. next for you, Ellen Travolta? Yeah. I'm going back to General Hospital oh, this you winter. Are? Yes, again. Cool. I was there in the fall. I'm going back. I know. I tried to I tried to go out and find the, the, the episodes you were on, and they wouldn't let me. I, I mean, on Hulu, it wouldn't. I know. I, the, yeah. the last episode, which I, and I loved doing that show was so much fun there was an interruption and now we have an interruption on television oh i didn't get to see the end of it oh no so i'm hoping when i go back down they'll let me go yeah, look at least, it or, yeah. or find yeah. it yeah. right i'm gonna do that got yeah, any right more now, um uh hallmarks? hallmarks i don't know mm. i'm going to f- i'm going to vegas with my hallmark girlfriends i have this i call them my hallmark girls oh that's fun we're gonna go they're going to see barry manilow with me because Ah. they're a little bit (laughs) a little young for barry manilow but we're gonna do that i have a few outings that i'm gonna do uh this spring Mm -hmm. but i think um you know right now uh we'll see what happens with general hospital and things just seem to appear I know once I start listening to General Hospital, I'll just get right back into the story. I know it. I know. (laughs) I know. And I loved it. I had such a good time. They were, and they're all so lovely. That's Um, nice. I don't know if I ever mentioned this to you all when I was on, but I did a thing called Going Home, Mm -hmm. which um, this was the second year. It's about dying. It's about what's the organization that comes to you. Hospice. 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 Mm Mm-hmm. And I, it was, uh, but talking about young people and going back to work again, um, being a guest on that show, mm-hmm. and all these young people who are, you know, 40, 50, 60 years younger than I am, mm-hmm. and the respect and the uh, um, inclusion that they do is just, it's, it's really impressive. That's oh, nice. Oh, wow. How, how lovely everybody on on all these things that I've done over the last couple of years mm-hmm. they everyone's been just so so wonderful well, that's good. would that the whole world would be I that know. way on a daily basis wouldn't that be nice that would be nice that we can only wish for <laughs> yes and do our part and yes. that's it yeah we do have to do our parts in it yes what's on the uh, uh, agendas for you ladies the rest of this one are you traveling uh, you doing well we're hoping to <clears throat> Uh, in, in fact, if you want to be a sponsor of this podcast, that would enable us to do a little traveling <laughs> yeah. and go talk We're to people. We're looking for our sponsors. <laughs> yes, of course. And but who knows? Gypsies, Gypsies coming up. Gypsies next for me. And I don't, I don't know. know. Grandparenting is awesome. It's big. Uh, yeah. But I'm going to try my hand at uh, being a tour guide for Inspire Tours, a Coeur d'Alene history tour, and Wait, a silver... For who? For Inspire? For Inspire Tours. They're a bus They're company. a bus company. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. No. no. And I know. I think it will be really fun. Oh, my gosh. And you'll learn a lot. Yeah. I know. And I will be my goofy little self, and they'll love every they'll minute of it. They'll love it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know. That's... Silver Valley Tour with Ash. Yep. We're um, we're working on a Silver Valley history tour, but there's a already uh, the Coeur d'Alene history tour is kind of written out already, and the Spokane history tour has been going. has been going on, and I'm taking somebody's place on that, so that should be really fun. I think I think that's you know speaking of history and tours, last night at the convention center theater. Mm-hmm. There's beautiful theater there. It's about a 200 seat theater. Kelly Quinnett oh, yeah. was starring in My Constitution. Oh, oh, it's a one woman. Oh, so good. I learned so much. She goes from being 15 up to the age that mm. that she is. Oh, it's wonderful examining the Constitution and sort of wow pulling it apart. That's and great. Questioning mm-hmm. and everybody. I brought. I was with two friends. 
everyone else was a student. There must be a festival going on mm. over in. Now, there's another thing. These festivals cost money. Yeah. If you're a college student and you want to go to a festival, and those are those are college festivals, and they come in from Oregon, Northern California, Wyoming, and uh, Utah, and the Kennedy Center pays for a bit of this, but. Wow, I was very impressed. Well, she's she's cool. a terrific actress. Yeah, she's, she's good. good. She's Kelly's great. Wonderful. Just yeah. wonderful. But I learned things that I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That yeah, well, I think this will be a great learning experience, but it's I think it's going to be really fun to introduce um, the local history to people who are visiting our area. Mm-hmm. And just I know a lot about... Coeur d'Alene, because I've lived here for 43 years. Yeah. Um, I know a lot about Silver Valley because my husband grew up there, or he didn't really grow up there, but they moved there when he was in his late teens. His his parents owned the Pritchard Tavern. Oh, my God. Yeah, for wow. years. Um, wow. So there's a lot of history in that yeah. area that's really fun. But yeah, I think that'll be I think that'll that's be a, a great that's adventure. Exciting. And where do you want if you have had sponsors? Where would you go? Well, we've talked about uh, there's interviewing. an artist in Montana. We yes, wanted to in see. Missoula that we'd like to that go we visit. met on Art in the Green last year. Yeah, She's and in great. Boise, there's yep. a lot of art going on in Boise, and that would be fun to mm-hmm. go. Yeah, two years ago we went to Canada mm-hmm. to the Luna Fest, and we were able to interview a couple of artists there, and that was it, that was really fun. And what I love is the one artist, Ariel Hill. She's an Indigenous artist up mm-hmm. there. She she sent me an email about a month later and said she was driving back on a long road trip back to Revelstoke from Vancouver. And so she put the podcast on so she could hear it. And she said it re ignited her purpose. And she said it was really great to hear her talk about about what she was doing to mm-hmm. us, which reminded her of mm-hmm. what she wanted to do. And it she said it really helped, yeah. which I loved. I mean, yeah. stories yeah. like that are great. To I, I, you know, I, I've decided the thing that I really like, the I love meetings and I love talking about projects because I think hearing another's idea and then it sparks yours and mm-hmm. you know, I it, it absolutely will reunite you and make you interested again. You mm-hmm. forget sometimes why you're doing something. Yeah, right. Yeah. Why am I doing this? And then <laughs> you're like, oh, you listen to something or someone asks you a question. Mm-hmm. Right. Get inspired. But to hear your own voice. Yeah. Answer those questions like, for ah. yourself. I think it's really cool. I mm-hmm. do too. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. I think so, it's lovely. You know, this podcast, I think, has considering the fact that we had no idea like, what we were getting what? ourselves into. Yeah. Um, it's been great to meet all these people at different worlds and different you know people yeah. that we've known for years and just getting to know them better better and just everybody has a story and yeah just fun well you it. do a lovely job oh, girls. Thanks. oh thanks well ellen it's a treat to have you yes. on always well thank you it's a treat to be here yes. i enjoy it so i'm Allie, and i'm callie and whatever you do today make sure it's creative the Allie and Kelly Artcast is sponsored in part by Tubbs Coffee Roasters, globally sourced, locally roasted coffee, and Scraps Barbecue, your locally owned catering company. <laughs>